The primate of all Nigeria, Anglican Communion, His Grace the Most Reverend Nicholas Oko, has admonished Christians to live solely for Christ and prepare for eternity, stressing that this world is temporal home. Primate Oko made this assertion at the service of songs held in honor of the venerable Professor Akin Akin Doeni at St. Matthew's Anglican Church, Guarimpa Abuja. ACNN News correspondent Wane Ogechuku has the full detail. An icon gone home after living a fruitful life. A life of impartation, service to humanity, and service to God. The venerable Ake Akin Doine has gone home to be with the Lord at the age of 80. It is on those that the service of song was heard in its honor at St. Matthew's Anglican Church Guarimpa Abuja where he was an active member until his death. The Bible readings were taken by his wife, children, grandchildren, and others. Remember now your great job in the days of your youth, before the difficult days come. During his words to the congregation, the Daosisa, the Most Reverend Nicholas Oko, encouraged Christians to live impactful lives, as he also condoled with the family of Akin Doini over their loss, stressing that the disease is in a better place. It is a time for us to manage our affairs in a very loving way, so that when it is time, we will not be disappointed in ourselves. If you invite the professor today, if you are possible to say, please, we have prayed very well and we want you to come back. I don't think he will come back. Because where he is is by far incomparably better than where we are. During his sermon, the vicar of the Holy Trinity Church Abuja, the Venerable Nandi Obono, spoke against the double standard life lived by some Christians as he also condoled with the family of the deceased over their loss. If it happens now, and I'm still pretty here, and some of you have gone, I'm telling you, it looks like I'm trying to take a place. I'm looking for where to go and I can also. But I should be ready. And those who are left behind, some of them are many who are putting big money in the work of the job, but their heart is not giving to the law, only their pocket. They will sit down and let them fall in the natural. Have you known Jesus as your Father and Lord and Savior? Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? If not, today can be your opportunity. The service was attended by the primate of all Nigeria and his wife, the Bishop of Kuba Diocese and his wife, Professor Jerry Ghana and his wife, clergymen from the Diocese of Abuja, the Akindo Inis, friends and parishioners. Some of his friends, family members, the vicar of the church, gave testimony of how he lived his life, and they also urged everyone to live uprightly because death is inevitable for man. He tremendously affected the lives of many, and we remember him for good. So we should just focus on our race now and rejoice in the Lord, really, because he ran his race to the end. Left a lot of legacies as a cleric, as an administrator, as a child of God. Thank God for the life that he has lived. And it is our prayer that God, in his infinite mercy, will forgive all that he may have done amiss and grant him eternal rest. As said by so many people, he was a renowned intellectual, a humble man, a man of quiet mien, 
strong faith in God. My father is a very gentle, intelligent, God-fearing man who always had advice for everybody. He was a teacher, a scholar, and a very funny man too. Was an astute Christian, very dedicated, was the first vicar of St. Matthew's Church, Maitama. In fact, it started in his living room. Prof was a very humble man, down to the earth. What are we say to the Christians? Just as this is his last word before he departed, Jesus has paid the price. It's to let the church to know that Jesus has paid the price. And we should live our life here on earth knowing that we have a better home. Prof was a child of God by excellence, somebody who lived his life for Christ. A man of truth, highly detribalized, God-fearing, somebody who I could consider as a bridge builder. He was not an ethnocentric person, somebody who loved everybody. He had no time to consider class. The Venerable Akin Akin Doini, on his death, was a staunch Anglican, a member of St. Matthew's Anglican Church, Guarimpa, and a retired Archdeacon of Abuja Diocese. He was also an erudite scholar. During his lifetime, he imparted so many lives. Venerable Akin Akin Doini will be greatly missed by all. He passed on on Monday, 15th July, and will be laid to rest Friday, 2nd of August, in his hometown in Ondo State. May the soul of the departed rest in peace. Wanne Ogechku, ACNN News.